Alright, so today we're going to be talking about the polygon interior angles rule. This is basically a rule that tells you what the sum of the interior angles of any polygon is. So rather than the just give you the rule. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little exploration, looking at shapes that we know and the sum of the interior angles that we know of those shapes. So let's start off with the first basic shape, which is a triangle. Triangle. So from the name tri, tri meaning three, you can figure out that there are three angles and three sides. Now you should know or you should hopefully know that the sum of the interior, a interior angles of a triangle is 180. 180 degrees. Now, if we were to draw out an equilateral triangle, if all the sides are the same, then all of the angles should be the same. They should all be 60. 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. The interior, interior angles are the angles that are inside the shape interior angles, right? So that's our first basic shape. Our second shape is a quad lateral. Did I spell that correctly? Quadri no I did not. Quadrilateral. Close enough. Anyway, from the name quad meaning four, you can figure out that there are four sides, four angles. So, let me draw out a square. So a square has equal, equal sides, and all of these angles are right angles. 90 plus 90 plus 90 plus 90 is 360, right? Now, hopefully, you can see that there's a pattern in the sum of the interior angles, right? You go from 180 to 360. You're basically just adding 180 degrees each time you add another side. So let's see if this works with a pentagon. Pentagon. Penta meaning five, five sides, five angles. And suppose we draw a pentagon, sort of like this. That does not look right. More like this. There's a pentagon. There's a regular pentagon. What I drew was considered a pentagon because it has five sides, five angles. This is more the traditional pentagon. So assuming all of these are the same, all these angles are also going to be the same. And following that rule of just adding 180 degrees from the previous shape, what we're going to end up here is we're going to end up with 540 degrees being the sum of our interior angles. Okay? So, we could keep going, or we could come up with a rule. So suppose you were asked to find the sum of the interior angles of, say, a, I don't know, something like a nonagon. You don't want to keep going through this and adding 180, adding 180. What you want is a nice little simple equation. So the equation that I like to use is n minus, wait, I hope I can see this. Let me write it up a little bit farther up. The equation I like to use is n minus 2 parentheses times 180. Right? This is the equation you should use to figure out the sum of the interior angles. Now, you should notice these parentheses. Parentheses mean that you should do the stuff inside first and then multiply that by 180 because of PEMDAS or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, something else. The moral of the story is that parentheses is first, right? So, n is our number of sides, right? So, suppose we wanted to figure out what's a nonagon. <clears throat> okay, so I couldn't find my graphing calculator, but that's okay. I have this TI-34. It'll all be okay. So, what we're trying to find is we're trying to find the sum of the interior angles of a nonagon, or something that has a pen, nine sides. We're trying to find the sum of the interior angles. 
and we don't want to just keep doing this over and over and over again. We have this cool little equation to do that for us. So we plug in, let me see if it will focus. Plug in 9 for the number of sides we have. 9 minus 2 times 180. And we end up getting 1,260. So, the sum of the interior angles of a nonagon is 1,260 degrees. And now, at this point, you should, you should make sense of this equation. This equation makes sense. You want, you want to know why? Because our triangle, our basic, our most basic shape, three sides. That's how much. That's how many sides you need to make a basic shape. Because if you only have one side, it's just a line. If you only have two, it's an angle. But if you have three sides, it closes up, and you form a, a, a shape. A shape is defined as something that is closed. It's not open, right? So, because our triangle has three sides but only has 180 degrees, what we do is we just do 3 minus 2 times 180, and it works, right? If you were to just have uh, n times 180, you would end up with, let's see, 3 times 180, you would end up with a triangle having 540 degrees. That's, that's, that doesn't work. You have to have this minus 2. And that's how the polygon interior angles rule works.